Hi guys, I'm John Trishler with Ray Skillman Performance Ford. It's that time of year again, so it's time to review the new model lineup for 2014 in the Mustang Performance Car segment. The Stage 3 returns for 2014, as does the Shelby GT500. The Boss is gone this year, uh, no Boss for 2014. Uh, the Roush Stage 3 is also accompanied by the Stage 1 and the Stage 2, which also returned for 2014, uh, as well as the Roush RS, which is the V6 model, uh, which is a great uh, price point car, especially if you're looking for something for uh, uh, a son or a daughter or someone uh, in college or a younger person, um, or someone that uh, just wants better fuel economy. Um, they're fantastic cars. Um, the GT500 is also accompanied by the Mustang GT, and California Special and the other derivatives of the Mustang GT model as well as the regular V6 Mustang for 2014. Um, but that's another video. This video is dedicated to the 2014 uh, Stage 3 and the 2014 GT500. As far as colors go, um, the color palette is pretty much the same for 2014. Um, there is one variation though. The um, the red candy is replaced by ruby red tinted clear coat metallic. Um, basically the same color. Uh, I couldn't tell really the difference between the two. Tint's a little bit different, but that's about it. So let's go ahead and review these cars real quick and um, kind of give you an idea of what's in store for 2014. All right, if you're familiar with the 2013 Stage 3, not a lot of changes here to the appearance of the 2014. Um, this one is a uh, deep impact blue, as you can see. I think it's just uh, a beautiful color. It's one of my favorites. Um, we've got the uh, marker lights on with the LEDs. It's pretty cool. Look up here in the front of the grill. Um, big wide open nose with the redesign for 2013. Um, you've got the upper grill. The lower grill is going to be an option. Uh, the lower grill will, uh, will match the upper grill, as you can see there. You've got your lower chin, which is designed for downforce and also to deflect air up into the engine bay uh, for extra cooling of the intercooler. you got your fog lights down there to below. Um, like I said, your HID headlights, which are now standard in that car. Your big grill. We move up here into the scoop. Um, optional hood scoop. Um, it's standard, but if you choose you want to delete that, you can. Um, it's a no charge uh, deletion. You do not get a credit for it though, and it's a no charge option, so that is standard. You do have the um, uh, hood diffusers here to ventilate the um, hot air from the engine bay. It also is going to help excavate that air that comes into the grill, so you don't get that parachute effect um, with your hood. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the 2005 to 2009 Mustangs, but a lot of those um, on, on the highway, I, I used to get a lot of complaints from people about this hood bouncing up and down when they would get to highway speed. Um, that uh, those, those vents there, the heat extractors in the hood are going to help eliminate a lot of that issue, so your hood should not move around. Uh, you can see your side stripes. Your color choices here are still an option. Uh, this, this one is... Uh, this has got the silver with the red accent. Uh, you can do black, white, silver, green, um, blue, red. Um, so those are all options. Of course, Roush puts the side splitters on the cars, as you can see. Um, optional 20-inch uh, wheels here. Uh, these wheels are chrome. Or oh, no, I'm sorry. These wheels are hyper black. Um, later in the year, um, we'll see if anything changes there, as far as options go. You've got your um, quarter window louvers, which are also an option. Rear wing is standard. This is on the premium package, so Sirius satellite radio is standard, uh, sync, uh, all the other amenities as far as the, the Shaker 500 sound system and so on. You also have the rear side splitters for 2013 uh, and 14 as well, which is basically a carry over from the side splitter you see it just kind of carries around the back. That was one of the major changes from uh, the 2012 models as far as design goes. Um, you've got your square tipped exhaust with the Roush diffuser in the back and now we can see those beautiful LED taillights from behind there. It's got a great look to it there. Get your black panel in the uh, center of the deck lid. 
I do like the the uh, deep impact blue. It's just a, a sharp color, and uh, the black accents it really well. You see the LED tail lights kind of show off the color as well. I, I do like that overall look. This is probably one of my favorite color combinations. Uh, the deep impact blue with the silver ac silver stripe and the red accent. The white stripe also looks very very good with this color, with the red accent. We'll go ahead and get into the interior just a little bit. Open the door. I'll turn this. Oh, the headlights are on. That's what's making the noise. So we'll turn the headlight, the, the parking lights off. So you can see here, um, this car is equipped with the Roush Premium Interior Upgrade. That Premium Interior Upgrade is going to get you the Roush Custom Seats with your color of uh, stitching accent. As you can see, this one's got the blue stitching with the Stage 3 logo here in the blue. Um, that also gives you the suede door panel inserts, which are also color accented with the stitching. And you're going to also get the suede shifter boot with the color accent stitch. The shifter ball is an option in black or white. The Roush door sill plates are an option here, which light up and say Roush. There's a little bit of water there, just where we just washed the car. Um, the Roush gauges are standard with the Stage 3. The Roush boost gauge here is an option. Um, that's black unless it's turned on. If you can see a little bit of the outline of the gauge in there. That's pretty cool. That's an LED gauge itself. Um, the navigation system touchscreen navigation system is an option from Ford. This one has that. So um, you can get the uh, optional touchscreen navigation as an option as well. Um, if you don't get that, you're still going to get the sync and the, the uh, Shaker 500 sound system as well. The Shaker 500 is going to be standard in either with the nav or without. The um, this particular car is built on the premium platform. The premium gets you all those things, your power seats, uh, your sync system, your Shaker 500 sound system, um, the track apps feature. We'll go ahead and turn that on real quick so you can see the track apps. Um, you can, however, if you choose, go with a low content version of the Stage 3. You can go with a low content version of the Stage 3 um, should you choose to uh, save a little bit of money, um, keep the price down, but you will lose all these features. You'll, you're going to lose the track apps, you're going to lose um, the ability to get the touchscreen navigation, you're going to lose the, the uh, premium sound system, you're going to lose the power seats and so on. Um, but you know, if, if you're looking for more of a track car, something like the Boss, um, you can go with a with that package, you can even go with the Cloth Recaro seats and uh, you can do that without getting the additional content that you don't want. Um, most of these are ordered with the premium content but but that is an option for you. So let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick and take a look under the hood. And here's the power plant for the 2014 Roush Stage 3. A supercharged version of the 5 liter from the Mustang utilizing Roush's 2.3 liter TVS supercharger and Roush intercooler for additional cooling and performance. And now we'll go ahead and go over the 2014 GT500, which is also a carryover for 2014. As you can see from the front of the car here, um, it also has a lower chin, which is designed to deflect air into the grill area. Uh, it is open on the bottom as well as the top for additional cooling. You have heat extractors on the hood, similar to the Stage 3, um, but these are horizontal rather than vertical. Uh, the GT500 has the, the racing stripe design down the front, all the way up over the top of the car and then down the back. The stripes can be deleted as an option should you choose that you don't want them, as can the stripes on the Stage 3. This car has the matte black stripes. The rear wing is very similar in design to the Stage 3, as you can see. 
However, the rear wing on the GT500 is a solid wing, one piece, whereas the Stage 3 utilizes a three-piece design. So the winglets here on the side do not move, and the wing on the deck lid here does. It's split right here in the middle with the deck lid, as you can see. Wheel design's a little different in the uh, GT500. This one has the optional performance package, which, which gets you the torsion differential um, and these upgraded wheels with a multi-spoke design. The torsion differential is going to give you a little bit better traction and handling on corners. Um, the Stage 3 also has that with the op optional track package, which this car does have. Um, we always try to order all of our Stage 3s with that track package. Um, to utilize that performance as well. So these cars are set up very, very similarly, similarly as far as performance and, and handling goes. Um, wheel design is a little different, like you can see. Uh, Roush utilizes a 20-inch front and back wheel. Um, Shelby, um, which is a Ford build, uh, utilizes a 20-inch rear and a 19-inch front. So the front's uh, one inch smaller than the rear wheel. The Roush tends to be a little more custom in design. As you can see, uh, with the Roush side splitters, as we had pointed out before, the GT500 does not have those. However, should you decide to add those, we can, uh, we can install those here. Same goes for the rear splitters here behind the back wheels. It's one of those things that I, once you see it on the car, it almost looks like it really belongs. So that's one of the differences with the Stage 3. Um, the GT500 utilizes a dual round tip exhaust where the Stage 3 utilizes the single square chrome tip exhaust. And we'll get on in here to the interior. This car is equipped with the optional Recaro seats. The Recaro seats are also an option on the Stage 3. So should you choose not to go with the Roush um, upgraded premium interior, you can choose the Recaro seat option um, on your Stage 3. When you do go with the Recaro seats, however, you do lose the power seat. So you can see the bar here in the front. The Recaro seats are manual, so you will not be able to, to adjust them um, in the same way that you can the premium seats. The door panel on these are just the um, ribbed leather, as you can see there. Um, Interior-wise, very similar to the Stage 3. This one also has the um, optional perform or electronics package with the touchscreen. Uh, shifter ball is white in the uh, GT500s. Um, you've got a leather steering wheel with a couple of uh, sections there that have the suede um, on them. The all suede steering wheel, which is similar to the Boss steering wheel, is an option on the Stage 3. So if you do like that suede design, you can get the entire steering wheel done in suede. See the gauges um, are unique to the GT500. The Stage 3 is a little bit different design, but they're very similar in most ways. <clears throat> the GT500 utilizes a floor mat here with the GT500 logo. The Stage 3 is also going to have that logo on their floor mat. So here we have the Roush Stage 3 floor mats, as you can see, the Roush logo here on the mats. And here is the power plant for the 2014 GT500. Carryover is the 5.8 liter with the 2.3 liter TVS supercharger from 2013. Now, I'm sure you would all love to hear these cars run. So we're going to start them up real quick so you can hear the exhaust. So let's go ahead and start these cars. We'll start with the GT500 since we're over here. I'm going to start the car. I'm going to walk around it. I'm going to let you hear the exhaust. So let's walk around the car.
is what the 2014 Shelby GT500 sounds like. Let's shut this car off. I'm going to start the stage three. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start this stage three so you can hear what this car sounds like. Let's go ahead and walk around this car. I think you can probably hear the difference. got two very unique cars and two very distinct sounds. Both cars are fantastic. There's no wrong choice. Which one is the right one for you? Only you can decide that. The Stage 3 is going to be the most limited production of the two vehicles with typically between four and five hundred produced in a year. The GT500 they're going to produce somewhere in the upwards area of probably five to six thousand. Um, the stage three, again, is going to be a little more custom, a little more unique. The GT500 is not going to have that custom feel that the stage three is with the custom interior and so on. The stage three, I think, in my opinion, in driving both of them, has the best handling. With the lighter weight engine up front, it's going to have a little bit better weight balance from front to rear. The GT500 is also a fantastic car as far as handling goes with the upgraded suspension. With the performance package, um, you're going to get the torsion differential in the GT500. With the track package, you get the torsion differential in the Stage 3, but you also get a 373 gear ratio versus the 331 gear ratio in the GT500. Really puts these cars um, closer than you'd think. Um, so really, again, it, it's, it's personal preference on which one you like the most. Both are fantastic. No wrong answer. I've got a little video clip here of a 2013 Stage 3 accelerating, and I'm going to go ahead and play that clip for you here real quick. I do not have a clip of the GT500 um, accelerating, um, so we'll have to show you that in another video. Um, but later on, we will have some more footage of these two cars on the streets, so you'll be able to see some of that. It's very important that um, you click the subscribe button down here so that we can make sure that you get all the latest information on some of the upgrades that are coming for these two cars. Um, again, there are some pretty cool things coming, so be sure to subscribe. And you see this email address right below here. Please write this email address down. <clears throat> Send me an email or give me a call at the number below and I'll be able to answer all your questions. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions pertaining to these two vehicles. Um, we've got all the answers, all the information. We're the largest Roush dealer and one of the largest performance dealers in the country. Um, we get more selection of Roushes and performance vehicles than any other dealer. Currently we have well over a hundred Mustangs in stock. Um, that's something that you do not find at any other dealership. Um, we have a very large variety of used performance vehicles, including GT500s and, and Roush cars as well. So be sure to uh, check that out. Um, but click the subscribe button. You'll get all the information as, as it comes. Um, send me an email, give me a call, and I will be able to provide you some more information to all your questions. And also leave a comment there so we can, we can get your feedback. Thanks again. Hi, I'm John Trischler. And I'm Jack Roush. When it comes to performance, see my friend John Tischler at Ray Stillman Performance Ford, the number one volume Roush dealer.